She had courage, courage, you fought with courage, fighting at the good fight, courage in your heart. Courage, courage, you fought with courage, fighting at the good fight, courage in your heart. My name is Juan Gumbe. I'm a singer and composer, and uh, we're in the Bernie Grant Art Centre. We're involved in the process of putting together the performances for Ignatius Inspired, which is a season of creative work that I have curated and led, mainly inspired by the work and life of Ignatius Sancho, who was the first black composer to ever have his music published. We didn't really know a lot about Ignatius Sanchez, but we started learning more about it thanks to Juan. All right, then, group five. Group five here, please. Ignatius Sanchez, famous for coming to Britain and, and publishing his music. His opera singing and his music was unique. Ignatius Sanchez's work is not particularly well known in the sort of mainstream because his career was sort of peripheral compared to those that were seen to be working within the centre of classical music. However, his work is well known by mainly black people in the West who are involved in art or classical music. In the past, black men weren't allowed to, to do a lot of things and it's good that this man really wanted a revolution with the music. He wanted to show that even black people are good at stuff. For example, he wanted to show that he was really good at music and uh, it doesn't mean if you're black or if you're white, it's the same thing. It was like travelling from the present to the past during that time and it was actually really interesting and we learnt a lot from that. We also have dances by Ignatius Sancho, which were written originally for harpsichord, but I've now arranged for a chamber ensemble of young musicians, which are supposed to be danced to. The dance was more trying to work within the boundaries of period dance, of Baroque dance. young people could compose their own things. Created in a process of what we call creative learning facilitation, so workshops and group composition based on their own ideas and their own experiences. But they could use some of what Ignatius Sancho had in mind as a starting point for their own creative work. Several dances Ignatius Sancho did that were named after places in London. There's one in particular called Kew Gardens. And so I got the young people to think about places that they could remember collectively so they could recreate that experience together. Today we're going to perform two songs. The first one is going to be a backbone uh, inspired from Alexandra Palace, uh, which is a, a really culturistic building and an important building from the past. We created and we developed it all together and this is amazing. Each of the pieces that these young people have created is supposed to be evocative of somewhere they've been in a way that Sancho was doing with his pieces. Juan and the teachers helped us a lot. We had to uh, play the music all together, we had to keep time. We found it really challenging, but then at the end it came out really well. Well, it's always exciting for young people, especially in an educational setting, to make that change from the formal, obvious learning environment and then moving into an environment where they were going to perform or share what they've been working on. We're going to be performing a song called Mr. Sancho. <laughs> it's important to give them enough time to 
acclimatised to kind of get used to being in a different space. That's planned into the whole thing, that they have this amount of time to get used to it and maybe click into a different sort of mode in performing. It's been a good process for the young people. They've seen that whole thing of like starting something and then taking it to sort of completion. They've seen how they can actually create something out of nothing almost and then present it in front of an audience and get appreciation for that, which is something that can be applied to other parts of their lives as well. It's been a rewarding process to be involved in.